Example number one, six x minus two is equal to 10. The first step to solving a two-step equation is to undo addition or subtraction by applying the opposite operation. So if we look at the equation, we can see that there is subtraction. And on the side with the x, they are subtracting two. So we wanna do the opposite operation of that, and the opposite of subtracting two is adding two. And we're going to apply that on both sides of the equal sign. If we focus in on the left, we have a negative two plus positive two. Since those are opposite numbers, they will cancel out and equal zero, which leaves me with six x on the left side. And if I focus on the right side, I have 10 plus two. And 10 plus two is equal to 12. Moving on to step two. Undo multiplication or division by applying the opposite operation. In this one, we have a number in front of the variable. This is called a coefficient. A coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable. So we want to do the opposite of multiplying by 6, which is dividing by 6. And that fraction bar in the middle means division. So if we focus on the left side, we have 6x divided by 6. And 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. So that will leave us with 1x or just x. And if we focus on the right side, we have 12 divided by 6. And 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. So we have our solution. x is equal to 2. But we're not done quite yet, because we always want to check to make sure our solution is correct. So we can rewrite the original equation, 6x minus 2 is equal to 10, and replace the x with our answer, which our answer was 2, so I'll replace that x with a 2. And remember, since that 6 was in front of the x, that means that we are multiplying. So we have 6 times 2 minus 2 is equal to 10. And we want to see if those are equal on both sides of the equal sign. Well, 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 2 is equal to 10, so since both sides are equal, we know our solution is correct, so the final answer is x is equal to 2. Example number 2. t over negative 5 plus 8 is equal to 10. Step 1. Undo addition or subtraction by applying the opposite operation. In this one, we can see that we have plus 8, and the opposite of a plus 8 is a minus eight. And we're gonna do that to both sides of the equal sign. If we focus on the left, positive eight minus eight cancels out, so we're left with t over negative five. And on the right side, we have 10 minus eight, and 10 minus eight is equal to two. This moves us on to step number two. Undo multiplication or division by applying the opposite operation. Well, if you remember from the last one, the fraction bar means division. So we are dividing t by negative 5. So what's the opposite of dividing by negative 5? Multiplying by negative 5. If we focus in on the left, first thing we're going to want to do is change that negative 5 into a fraction. And we can turn any whole number, no matter if it's positive or negative, into a fraction by giving it the denominator of 1. We also want to notice that in front of that t, there's an invisible number. And that invisible number is a 1. So if we pull out just the numbers and ignore the t, we have negative 5 over 1 times 1 over negative 5. And these fractions are called reciprocals, because they're the same except for the numerator and denominator are switched. And any time you multiply reciprocals, you will always get 1. So if we go back to the problem, we can cross out the fives. We also know that there's a one in front of that t, so we can cancel the ones, and that'll leave us with just t. If we focus in on the right side, two times negative five is equal to negative 10. And we have our solution. t is equal to negative 10. But we're not done yet because we have to check. So we write the original equation, and we're gonna replace the t with our answer, which was negative 10. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is equal to 2, and 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So since both sides are equal, we know we are correct, and the answer is t is equal to negative 10. 
Okay, I have two more problems on the screen I want you to solve for. The first one is negative 8r plus 12 is equal to 36. The second one is r over 3 minus 7 is equal to 4. I would recommend you pause now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Okay, let's see if you're correct. For number one, the answer is r is equal to negative three. For number two, the answer is r is equal to 33. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause and try to find your mistake. That's one great way to get better at algebra. Thank you for watching.